Don't mind me. Just having a bit of a sit down. Just uh, watching the day go by. I'm sorry, sir. Lud Home is currently closed for beautification. Yes. I'm uh, here to help beautify it. Oh, isn't that good of you? Please show me your credentials from the Beautification Committee. Uh, which credentials, exactly? Right, well, I'm sure the Ode Current will let you know when Lud Home has been beautified, and you can visit.
Poor thing. What's she on about? Getting on very well, are they? I wonder if I can help him. <laughs> Funny, you smell important. Yes, I'm a chemist, and I've invented a new cologne. I call it Mojo. It makes you smell like a doctor. You see, Beatrice has always had a soft spot for doctors. And you know how they have that distinctive smell. Mojo makes you smell like that. And it works? Not on Beatrice. Doctors are much nicer to me. But she is not. Have you tried giving her flowers? She only likes night-blooming non-suches. And... Where would I get those? In the Garden District. Right. 
Well, good luck then. <laughs> there you are. Oh, hello. Aren't you tall? Yes, I, uh, oh, I suppose I am a little. There's room for two on this bench, you know. Oh, yes. Oh, I suppose I could. To not be so tall and all. I love to come here and read. Do you like books? Yes. Who doesn't? I'm, uh, I've been collecting a lot of books recently. Uh, in the go- in the garden district, if you can imagine. Oh, that's so brave of you. Ah, oh, they're not really cannibals, you know. You just have to talk to them. But don't they bring you down? Oh, <laughs> well, I suppose they would if I listened. <laughs> You must tell me all about your adventures. I'd love to. I mean... Oh, goodness. I have to go see a chap. Do you have to? Oh, I... I sort of have to get back to the parade. Don't know when I'll be back. Hard to make predictions, especially about the future. (laughs) Oh, come back any time.
Sloshy. Good place for giant octopi. To sleep, for chance to dream.
can find the switch again. I'm in business. here from any other hatch without anyone trying to kill me. A bouquet! <laughs> You're a gentleman and a scholar. It's just... I never know what to say. <laughs> She's so sparkling and I'm... I'm a bit of a clot. <laughs> Maybe I could sort of... hide in the bushes and... tell you what to say. Are you good with the ladies? I'd like to think I've a way with words. Oh, brilliant! <laughs> I'll give her these when she comes back. <laughs> she, she usually comes back. away just like these flowers darling without you i'll shrivel up and die just like these flowers oh that's awful i think you should forget about me Soaked. I'm fine. You're not. Your lips are blue and you're shivering. Where's your coat? In the closet. Why didn't you put it on? I don't know. It's been raining all day. Did he not notice the drops of water falling out of the sky? It... what? It... it wasn't raining. It was drizzling. Now you're going to get sick and then I'm going to get sick and then Dad is going to get sick. Darling, I could never forget you. But Beatrice, oh, I could never forget you. Oh, I could eat all the joy in the world and you'd still be stuck in my head like one of those songs that goes round and round and round and you can't stop it and it's driving you crazy. Don't ad lib. Look, 
You never know when you'll see someone for the last time. And then, they're gone. And you wish you hadn't said all those things. You never know how long you have with people. Just take me for a little while. I'm not that awful, really. We owe it all to you. Here, I want you to have my mojo. Cheerio. Poor oh, thing. What's she on about? <laughs> oh, so sorry. Sorry, dearie. Please don't tell anyone. I promise I'll stop crying. I'll take my joy, I promise. Don't worry, I will keep your secret. I miss them. I miss them so. I miss them too. You used to grow lilies. Lilies? I thought you meant the... Lilies? I overwatered them last year. Killed them. And I can't find fresh bulbs anywhere. We used to grow them together, Violet and I. Before her husband got so jealous. Of one of the last proper vegetable gardens in all of Hamlin. But no one will trade me lily bulbs. Well, you never know. Maybe some will turn up. Would you like some tea? Thanks, but I must be going. Poor thing. She does miss her lilies. And I think her uh, friend, too. Wait a minute. There's a lily patch in the garden district, isn't there? On Lud's home. Every time we went past it, Percy told me the exact same thing about how a lily patch lasts for practically ever until you rip the bulbs out. Maybe I could do a nice sad old lady a favour. Oh, goodness! You are too kind. Oh, look at these. Violet would love these so. You should visit my garden. It's lovely this time of year. And winter is coming, you know. I can't thank you enough. Wait. Here's some beef jerky. I make it myself. When I can get the sugar and the salt. And the meat, obviously. It's not really beef, but once it's jerky, who can tell? Here, I want you to have this. What a cat. 
kind one you are, love. Again. Lovely day for it. Well, Look hello, in, dearie. Lovely weather. Watch out for scurvy, Uncle Jack says. I'm in the garden of bloody Eden. Now, don't be greedy, Arthur. Lovely day for it. Did you hear about Constable Rossetti's wife's cake? Looks like the old printing office is pretty well buttoned up. I wonder if there's a way in the back. Oh, lovely. Another broken motor link pipe. I hope no one's breathing there. She's had an haircut. Lovely day for it. Righto. I just want you to know that I appreciate what you do. Well, that is quite kind of you. Normally ours is a thankless profession.
All right. Did you hear? Mrs. Sapper found a bomb in her garden. <laughs> Lucky it didn't blow her up. Joy detector. I better take my joy. Happiness is a choice. So someone's finally made a religion out of Simon Says. Well, I suppose they all are, really. Wait a second. The winner gets a medal. And are not less suspicious looks, I bet. You can trust a man who wins at Simon Says, can't you? That'll never work, Arthur. You'd be up against people who devote their lives to Simon Says. You have to see who wins and then take the medal from them. Well, that's a plan, I suppose. Are you here for the Simon Says? I'm sorry, dear. We're full up. Why don't you come back next week? Oh, if you see Nick Lightbearer, would you let him know we're waiting for him? We've been waiting for him for ever so long. He's supposed to call the tune. here for the Simon Says. I'm sorry, dear, we're full up. Why don't you come back next week? Oh, if you see Nick Lightbearer, would you let him know we're waiting for him? We've been waiting for him for ever so long. Someone there? Old. Did you know? Oh, I was left on holiday.
Next time, stop after the first fight, man. You won't get them once. Just want to make you feel better. Sweet dreams, Arthur. Hello there. That's an awful lot of bobbies. All right, right as rain, sir, right as rain. I saw that, you robber. There! there. That's right. That's right. <sighs> Just want to make you feel Oof. better. Down up! Down up! I won't have it! <laughs> Should clear up soon, I imagine. You know, I think we wear the same size. You know what? <laughs> Never mind. Next week? Arthur? Arthur Hastings! Lovely day for it. Don't you lovely day for it, me, you idiot. It's me! Sally! Oh, I knew it was you. I mean, the glasses, the hair, the really adorable jacket. Don't ask me how, you're not that awkward little boy anymore, are you? But the way you walk, it's, it's like the mask isn't even there. I just, I just knew there's Arthur. Sally, you look fantastic. This ancient thing. I've had it two weeks. I'm out of my mind with boredom. Green and white checked. Your dress, the last time I saw you, running out the door. <laughs> oh, that horrible gingham dress. God, that takes you back. Oh. You're off your joy. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Oh, you have little fucking faith. I'm not going to turn you in. Whatever possess you to go off your joy? <sighs> Percy. Oh, God. I saw a picture of him. I promised I'd look after him in Germany. I have to go and find him. How are you going to get out? Do you even have a letter of transit? Absolutely. On my desk, in the city. <laughs> Good Christ. Just tell the policeman that. I'm sure they'll wave your right on through. Yeah, I haven't figured that bit out yet. I'm very close with General Bing. 
course you are. <laughs> no. You always did have a knack for making helpful new friends. I mean, I could go see him and ask him to give you a letter of transit. Don't put the general out on my account. I'm sure you've only so many favours you can ask of him. My God. You still hate me, don't you? Yeah, well, I've only been wondering for the past 14 years. We were 16! How could you? Because I liked him. Because he had that adorable beard. I don't know, there isn't a reason for everything. You're the last bloody person who should be off his joy. I can't believe you are. Believe me. Take enough... stuff. Look. Some downer broke into my lab last week. Literally tore the bars off the windows and the ridiculous thing is I forgot to lock the front door. Point is... It's a horrible, terrible world out there. I just don't see you smashing your way into the city without a great deal of help. Oh, no. Not me. I'm living on the King's Road right now. Of course you are. I couldn't exactly have stayed there, could I? Like, nothing happened. (sighs) Look. I'm sorry. This isn't what I meant to... Maybe we could help each other. Maybe I could come by when I'm feeling... better? Brilliant. You ass. How about going to the King's Road, knocking on her door and apologising grievously? And asking nicely for a letter of transit. She knows General Bing. Damn it, lads! She's Scarper! Oh! But what have we here? A friend of Miss Boyle's, innit? Funny, you don't seem all high and mighty. Perhaps we can express our feelings about Miss Boyle to her friend. Last uh, one uh, smiling is a you rotten egg. Uh, you can't uh, deny it. <laughs> Now, now, what's all the scuffle? You've been having an altercation in the alley? Uh, nothing you need to worry about, Constable. I'll, uh, just be on my way. And where is it you're on your way to? Precisely. Just off to see an old friend on St George. Oh, well, no need to be in such a hurry. The bridge to St George is, uh, under renovations. Oh, For how long? I hesitate to prognosticate, sir. Dr. Faraday's the only one who knows how to fix the uh, ridiculous contraptions on them bridges. Word has been sent, but we've not had the courtesy of a reply. Why don't you, uh, I don't know, uh, go to Dr. Faraday's house? Because Dr. F has removed to a secret location, the, uh, location which headquarters keeps, uh, uh, secret. All right. I'll ask your headquarters then. You some kind of troublemaker. Stay out of city business. I suppose if I want to go and make up with Sally, I need to get Dr. Faraday to come fix his bridge. So I need to visit police headquarters and find out where he's gone. Not risky at all. It's always a little extra complicated with Sally, isn't it? <laughs> 